Hi guys, it's Gina. <sighs> this topic. Where do I begin? There's so much to say about this topic. Um, I th it's something I've been wanting to talk about for a while, though. Um, I feel as though, in my opinion, I don't know. I'll just ask generally. Anybody, you know, feel free to comment on it or email me or leave comments or whatever the case is on how you feel about it. But I don't feel as though necessarily, if you are attracted to somebody and you have a good friendship, I don't think there's no way, unless you are in a committed relationship or you are more interested in somebody else, I don't think there's any realistic way that you could possibly be platonic friends like that's just bullshit to me and I think that anybody that can sit there and say that is in complete fucking denial now I want y'all to really take in what I just said I said that if you are attracted to this opposite sex or whatever the fuck you like and you have a good chemistry, like friendship or whatever, and there's nobody else in your hindsight or whatever the case may be, you're not in a relationship, you know, except for, you know, some people that don't even matter. But that's a whole different other subject for another day. Mm. I don't think that there's any way that you could possibly um, be platonic friends. Um, I think that, I just really just think that that's bullshit. Um... I think it's stupid of us to sit here and be f friends with benefits. Like, I don't know what the fuck you all are doing. No. It's a different situation if it's like you guys were friends first, you guys have a good friendship, and maybe you guys have more, you have feelings for each other more than a friend, and y'all start messing around or something like that. That might be a little bit different, you know, or whatever the case is, but... If you really sit, if you really think you're going to sit here and be like, oh yeah, you're hot, and I'm hot, and we both think each other are hot, and yeah, let's, let's fuck and still be friends. You, you're stupid. Like, you are in so denial, in denial with the truth. Like, are you serious? And what kills me the most about this, I mean, I know some people are going to sit here and be like, this shit is blinding. Like... Oh my god, it's like a fucking disco ball. Hold on, let me... I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to blind y'all, so I'm like, hold on. Like, let me try to get away from the light. Damn. <laughs> anyway. Um, what the hell was I saying? The main thing I hate about this... About this is... I always see guys talking about, you know, she didn't go, it's when it comes to in terms of friends with benefits or whatever, you know, she didn't go by the code, she didn't go by the rules, you know, she got, she started catching feelings, she's dumb, nigga, you're dumb, I mean, she is dumb too, but your ass is dumb for really thinking that you can sit here and fuck a female and be friends with her and everything goes smoothly. Like, do y'all not watch TV? Are you not paying attention to your other friend situations? Like, are you stupid? I think the niggas are more so dumb than the females when it comes to that. Because it's like we're... You know what? It, it's both a wrong situation. But I see too many times the guys just not thinking clearly and seeing the bigger picture of the situation. Because, you know, they're too busy thinking about their, thinking from their dick than from their brain. You know, that's your fucking fault. You're thinking wrong with the wrong head. But anyways, <laughs> um, you know, they're not thinking of the bigger picture that, hey, you know, females are emotional beings. She's going to catch feelings eventually. This is probably not the best idea. Unless you get, get across a female who has been through so much hurt and pain that she is just cold from giving a fuck or, like, showing it and just fucks around and just doesn't care and just doesn't catch feelings, then that's different. But it's like, if you're friends with somebody, I think it's your dumb ass if you really say, if you really gonna sit here and think that you can be friends with them platonic, like, and, and nothing, and nothing go wrong, not platonically, but you could be friends with them, fuck around, and nothing go wrong. Like, it happens all the time, it, it happens all the time, like, people being friends, fucking around, and somebody catching feelings, 
I mean, with females, like, in general, like, when they lose their virginity, even though I'm not aware of that yet, I've already spoken on that, moving along, <laughs> even though, um, you know, most people know that with, I almost dropped my damn phone, anyway, and I don't have a protector on my phone anymore, but, you know what, uh, let me stop rambling really on, anyway, so, most people know that, you know, when females lose their virginity, they get attached to a dude, to the dude that they lost it to. And when they have sex with a guy, it's an emotional thing. Like, most times you have feelings for that person in some type of way, crush, like, and really, and like, lust, love, whatever the fuck you want to call it. There's some type of emotional attachment to that person that you are having sex with as a female. So how, and it's like everyone is aware of this, so how can nobody, like, especially if you've been fucking around dudes, like, how can you not, like, take that into consideration that shit might go down eventually? And she might start catching feelings. And you know what the hilarious part is? You know, when she starts catching feelings or... You know what? I can't even say catching feelings, honestly. Because I'll go back to what I just said. When females most times have sex with a guy, you know, they catch they catch feelings, you know, automatically. Um, or in order for them to have sex with the guy, they have to have some type of feelings, as, you know, uh, regardless of... Um, of, a, of just being attractive, you know, unless it's a guy that you just met, but we ain't gonna get to, we ain't gonna talk about your whole ass, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I'm getting all types of distracted. But yeah, so I just don't, I, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I mean, really, we should, we should be thinking of a bigger picture of the situation. And then we can avoid these fucking problems, you know, this is, like, the same way I feel about this is the same way about a guy who cheats around on his girl and he got a sideline girl. And he gets mad at her that she doesn't go by the rules and thinks she's the main bitch. Well, you know, I mean, even though it's like, why are you sitting here thinking you're the main bitch when he's sneaking around with you? I could understand, in some sense, how she would sit here and think that she's the main one. Because you're sneaking around from your, whoever you're with, to be with this person because there's... Um, there is um, a void they're missing. There's something missing in that in that relationship that where you can't have it to where you're going to find somewhere else. So that girl that you give you letting that girl feel so she's important because you are with somebody else and you are sitting here because you you missing something with that. You're going and messing with somebody else. You already automatically put her in the position to think that she is number fucking one. Or is that damn important? So it's just stupid ass to be cheating around in the first place and then get mad at the girl for thinking she was that damn important. Because it's like, yeah, she is stupid. She should know better because she's not the main one. She's not the one you're in a relationship with. But at the same time, it's like, your dumb ass shouldn't be fucking around in general and you're in a relationship, so... You should be blaming your damn self. But yeah, that's how I feel. So the disclaimer of this is, you know, I don't feel as though if you are attracted to somebody and you have a good chemistry um, and you are not in a relationship with anybody else or nobody else catches your interest more, that it's possible that you can be platonic friends and not flirt a little bit. At least that'd be the minimum. That's just how I feel. And friends with benefits is just a stupid ass idea. Honestly. You should just be fucking around with random people. And not with your friends. Because that's how you fuck up the friendship. You know. Unless you have true feelings. And you guys. And, and you notice sometimes with the movies too. Like. Um, most times. Somebody reveals their feelings. And then they get mad at them for revealing their feelings. When in actuality. They feel the same way. They're just in denial about it. Shit like that happens too. It just becomes a whole confusing thing. Um, I just think that people just need to, as adults, if you're going to sit here and be sexing around and everything, you just really need to be clear about what it is you're doing and seeing the bigger picture of the situation. 
is all I'm saying. And then you can avoid these fucking problems. I mean, some part of, I know some people going to come at me like, oh, you know, well, you haven't had sex yet. You wouldn't know how hard it is to avoid having sex with a friend, blah, blah, blah. I, you know what I mean? Let's not try, y'all don't know my business. Y'all don't know what I've been through. I'm not, I don't say every, everything. I'm open about a lot of stuff, but I don't say everything, everything. So you don't, you don't know how I could have some knowledge on this. But yeah, that's a disclaimer of that. Tell me your thoughts. Do you feel as though, how do you feel about friends with benefits, honestly? And do you feel as though, you know, two people who are attracted to one another can be platonic friends? Tell me how you feel about that. Bye.